Angelife and Edmund on the mic. And we're going to Omega Big Blue. Or uh, I forgot what the name of this stage is, but Big Blue is the song, and it's going to be hype. I think they, they probably picked this song. They, this was picked. I thought this had sure. to be a button check or something because I've never seen in a tournament Big Blue being chosen. I'm glad. I'm glad. We need to see more of the uh, Omegas and the uh, Battlefield version of the stages. There's so much cool music. But, That's uh, so true. Spanky already taking a lot of damage. Uh, Sweet T obviously really comfortable with the Pichu. He's got his combos on deck just as that upper to downer, sending him back down and resetting the situation. Catching a forward smash and barely any percent on uh, Sweet T's first life here. Down throw into double up airs and that, the down air. That Pichu is so quick too with the short hops. Just one down throw and you're in a combo for like at least 40%. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, Pikachu, Pichu has insane damage output. One thing to note though is that whenever he is using his electrical moves, he is adding on damage to himself, such as that back air and the Thunder Jolt. Uh, and Thunder Jolt is such a great neutral tool, so he, it's like he, he's going to be using that a lot, especially because it leads to grabs and other follow-ups. Definitely, and what a great use of the Thunder Jolt there. He was trying to Thunder Jolt and then get him into a down tilt. That's such a great way to start a Pichu combo. Oh, but he's on recovering the ledge. Ivysaur's so good at putting on that pressure. He's forced to Ooh, shield. Parry to grab, excellent. And I like the uh, switch coming out from Spanky right there to avoid the Thunder and he gets a back air in. We're down to two stocks apiece, but that forward tilt gonna change that fact up. And, and Sweet T feeling it. Wow, yeah, Pichu's tilt, like if anything is to be nerfed, it has to be that side <laughs> tilt because seriously, like Charizard heavy character and just getting thrown off mid-stage, oh, unreal. Fair. No, that's fair. <laughs> Let's see here, wow, he does a really good use of the switch ups during those thunders. That's the second time we've seen that and I think that's so clever. Honestly, most people usually DI or try to um, air dodge Ooh, out of it. Man, that up air near, looking like it might have almost done the trick. The next one might do sweet T in, so he is gonna want to be more aware of that option but he has so much advantage in terms of like neutral and, and how he can get in and out on these characters all right spanky using his vine whip to deflect that thunder jolt so it won't there you go not getting any damage from it but wasn't able to avoid the thunder wow, that is so strong from center stage he yeah. finds the up throw into the thunder uh sweet tea reading the no DI there and just gonna go for it immediately. And that killed so ridiculously early. That is not something that you can be sleeping on ever. You wanna either, you wanna DI or mix up the DI. But like, uh, yeah, it's, it's. Oh yeah, one of Pichu's killer. <laughs> kill confirms. Yeah, the up throw down B, honestly. And like, we've seen that being used like off stage too. And it's just, it's a great use of it, honestly. Yeah. Pikachu can't do the same thing. Yeah, that's a great, huh. great edge guard move. Um, like the up throw down B. I think he might have it, but like not a, not it's not as good as Pichu. Like an I, early percent, yeah. yeah. Don't don't quote me on that. And cool, so we're gonna see Spanky picking Pokemon Trainer up again, and Pichu working out for Sweet Tea here. So we'll be seeing Pichu again for sure. in the second match here. Mm -hmm. Did you see the stage? Uh, no, but we'll find out right now, and it's gonna be Omega uh, Green Hill Zone. That's All right, the, uh, Sonic music. Yeah, I, I think it's probably Spanky just like picking the picking the music in the stage. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, can I pick the music though? Like, and a great choice too, honestly. But wow, what a start here. 50% already coming from Sweet Tea. And we have Ivysaur on the stage. Wow, and a, honestly a smart choice here because he is a, a bit on the heavier side. Pichu just throws you around during this matchup. Oh so. no, he's gonna go a little bit too low, but that Vine Whip does go so far for the tether on the ledge. Um, it does have some dead zones, so if you're not like directly below the ledge, or too much off to the side one way or another. Uh, it will just fail that uh, sometimes. Down throw into the up B right there. It's gonna connect, not quite enough to kill, but uh, it's definitely becoming more of a threat. Forward throw. Spanky doing a really good job on this stock. And let's go here. Yeah, he's trying to throw out those vine whips, you know, to deflect any thunder jolts that might come towards him. And he has Pichu at 124%, Ooh. definitely a kill percent there, and you saw it as he did that up air. Yeah, I actually wasn't sure. If, oh my god, I wasn't sure if it was an up air or or uh, an up B. The animation looked really, the, really weird. But either way, he was able to secure that stock, and he's finding some nice little mileage on this second stock. He's got 34% onto Sweet T, adding a little bit more with that neutral air. Wow. Great parry and double back air. Spanky on fire right now. With the forward tilt actually bringing us down to two stocks apiece. I I think. Uh, 
the the damage the percent really doesn't matter too much for um, Sweet T as I as we mentioned he's adding on a lot of percent onto himself most of the time so he kind of just plays with that in mind and uh, either way dead even game right here here we go and he's throwing out a bear here. We saw it just a second ago. Sweet T Whoa. throwing on the hurt with that down air. It's so dunks. satisfying yeah. hearing that sound, like just Absolutely. of a Pichu down air. And that down air hitbox is, is pretty generous, but it's still a really great edge guard coming out from Sweet T. It is. Even if you hit a sour spot on that down air, it's really good on getting people off the stage. Send, send, them, send them off the side. Yeah, yeah. it's a great uh, like uh, landing tool as well with the uh, the landing hitbox. Okay, here's here we go. Throw. Wow, again, really great use of the switch up to get yourself out of those sticky situations. Here we go, we have Ivysaur on the ledge. Forward air and Sweet T trying to get this edge guard for a 2-0. All he needs is just a poke and Pichu is so light in this game. He's at 144%, maybe a back throw we might see here. Ivysaur's back throw is definitely really a kill strong, confirm. Yeah. Yes. The back throw is definitely online right now. Uh, but. Sweet T playing around it, and the forward air is definitely going to be a kill option as well. Uh, Spanky bringing it right back here. 91% on his last stock, though. Squirrel is definitely a good uh, option here. It's just so quick, but it looks like he's pulling out a Charizard, you know, because he is at those higher percents. Yeah. It'll allow him to stay alive a little bit longer. Oh, my God. He's kind of switching a lot. I mean, I, I know why he switched right there. Right there. He was trying to avoid the uh, Thunder, but uh, it's... It's uh, you might want to be careful. It's, just, it's eventually it's just gonna be punishable with Nair coming out from Sweet T right there. See, he's doing a great job staying alive right now, despite being at 147. Well, let's see, he's oh getting back on that God. ledge. Will Pichu go for the punish? He didn't. So let's see here, just waiting for him to come back on that stage and trying to throw a side tilt toe. We do know that that is definitely a kill from confirm for Pichu. All right, the next backer might do it, especially if he's closer to the edge and the neutral air just intercepting the tether. And knocking a 